Hi, it's Laura from Hyperstamper, and I have a pretty special journal today to show you. I'm trying to wrap up my 10 journals this weekend uh, for this week. And this one is one that I showed in my uh, thrift shop haul video this week. I got a few, quite a few comments on this one emailed to me. So this is a Sherlock Holmes uh, antique book. And this one, all I had to do was add this um, vintage trim to it uh, because the color matched exactly. So I was pretty excited about that, but I left the rest the same because the, uh, the cover is just spectacular all on its own. So let's have a little flip through. I left the first original pages in and everything in here is authentic, antique and vintage ephemera, except these few tea dyed pages that I added and hand stamped. Here's a nice little um, page from a stamp collector's album from the 50s and an antique book page from the very early 1900s. And I made this pocket out of some vintage lace trim. And this is a souvenir booklet page from a 1955 Lincoln souvenir book from Washington, D.C. And that's one of the pages from that, which is kind of kind of cool. This is a children's book page here. Hullabaloo. Isn't that great? A little kangaroo there. I love the green color on that page. And there's some images front and back. And this is from the um, garden, gardening, American garden, sorry, uh, book from the 50s as well. And that one is poppies. And then over here on the flip side, I've got this 1930s photograph of a very dapper man with a bow tie and some specks. And here is a page I found in a children's book, which also kind of has a Sherlock Holmes detective guy here. So I thought that would be fun to uh, include in this book. I try to match up things with themes when I, when I can cross-reference them. And over here, I have this wonderful page from the 1928 Billboard magazine. And it's got these wonderful Cupid dolls that you would get as prizes at a fair. And they're advertising those, 40 cents each. And then this is a vintage wine label that was not used with the glue back. And a 1950s, uh-oh, let me grab it here. A little bit of glue there, 1950s bingo card. And that is one of my signature things that I try to put in as many journals as possible. And this is a 1930s Paris France Almanac page here in 1934, and that was a July page. Sometimes it's fun to, some people have told me they put them in um, Google Translate to find out what they are. This is uh, pre-war, so a lot of propaganda and fun humor in there. I've done it myself. It's it's kind of interesting. And this is a beautiful vintage bird book, Birds of America, or sorry, Birds of North America. And it's really aged beautifully, but it's got this glossy paper, which is really cool for a vintage book. So I love that page especially. And this is a very hard cardstock page. And it's got that nice velvety feel to it with the song on one side. Another billboard magazine page there. This is a lovely little image from a children's book. Some color there. And on the flip side, the story of the monkey and the crocodile. Isn't that great? And over here, I have found this plate out of a history book, A Meeting of Garibaldi and Victor Emmanuel. It's kind of a beautiful full color print there. And a vintage sewing pattern instruction sheet, 1955. A Polish embroidery book page and that is really quite lovely and I guess again you can throw this in Google Translate to see what it says look at this look at how beautiful that image is it's just the photography is spectacular here's another one of these historic images here and I just covered this page of plain text with some antique paper and embellishments and this is from the 1915 girls own manual look at that great image there and this beautiful little house image at the bottom. They're very precious and over 100 years old. So how cool is that? And then we have just a vintage canasta page for you to journal on front and back. A postcard. Look at this great bridge. Super postcard. And that is from the 1920s. And this is uh, some measurements, which I think are very cool. And... Um, 
oh, sorry. No, this is, this is a, a mom who was, we figured this out, measuring her children. Isn't that cool? In inches. Margaret and Bonnie. I love that. And The Wild Bride is a uh, title book that I tore out. This wonderful old book page here. Bumblebees on it. Pearl Shop receipt piece here from the 50s. And then this 1950s magazine page. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Mother and daughter outfits in the kitchen. Look at the socks. <laughs> and then a crochet advertisement on the back. I just think that's so fun. And on this side, I made a double pocket here. And this is just a lovely little children's book page that I made a little journaling pocket on the back here and tucked in a vintage playing card from when uh, Prince Edward visited Canada. That is kind of cool. And a 1920s ledger page here. It's blank, so lots of space to journal in there and lots of wonderful embellishments down here. A vintage receipt here. And up here is just another um, page out of the Victorian furniture, a vintage magazine, or sorry, book. And I just really loved the images here. I've, I'm going to use a lot of these coming up. And I just put some blank antique paper up there for you to journal on. Lots of room to do tucks here. Another vintage recipe page here. And another one of these wonderful Watchman's clock faces. And uh, happy to share the history on what those are if you're interested. A hand stamped ledger page from 1929. I just love these so much. I love, love, love reading all the, the entries they made. And, seeing what things cost, 1920s music sheet, a 1930s uh, children's school book page there, Gateways to Bookland. And this is just a little mini, mini, mini booklet with all my little scraps here, more journaling space, a lovely little cluster down here with some vintage sewing pattern tissue, some 30, 1930s Monopoly money here in this pocket, made out of a 1937 uh, history book. And then I've got this vintage wildflower page from a British wildflower book, vintage. And that brings us to the end. So it's going to be on Etsy momentarily. And I hope you will visit etsy.com shop slash hyperstamper and subscribe so you can see them before they hit Etsy. Bye for now.